sacrifice. All right, saying, let's listen to the ranking Democrat on the House Oversight Committee, Obama. Elijah Cummings. I want to thank you very much and good morning. I'm pleased to join my colleagues here today, and I echo their concerns about the President's first 100 days. One of our most serious concerns has been with former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, his ties to Russia, and his lack of honesty with the American people and even with the Vice President of the United States. On Tuesday, I joined our chairman on the Oversight Committee, Jason Chavitz, in viewing uh, classified documents relating to General Flynn that were produced by the Department of Defense. <clears throat> These documents ra raise grave concerns, and I urge all members to view them. I also urge the executive branch to declassify them so that the American public can see them for themselves. While those documents remain under lock and key, I would like to announce today that I'm releasing three new documents. I worked with the Pentagon this week to remove the, and redact classified information and prepare these documents for public release. <clears throat> First, I'm releasing a letter that was sent directly, directly to General Flynn on October 8, 2014, from the Office of General Counsel at the Defense Intelligence Agency, the <clears throat> his former agency. This letter explicitly warned General Flynn as he entered retirement that the Constitution prohibited him from accepting any foreign government payments without advance permission. The Pentagon's warning to General Flynn was bold, italicized, and could not have been clearer. Second, I'm releasing a, a now unclassified and redacted version of a letter that the Defense Intelligence Agency originally sent to our committee in classified form on April 7, 2017. This new DIA letter counters the suggestion made by General Flynn's attorney on Tuesday that General Flynn followed the appropriate procedures when he accepted foreign funds for his trip to Moscow in 2015 and dined with the Russian President Putin. This new DIA letter states, and let me quote it directly, DIA did not locate any records referring or relating to Lieutenant General Flynn's receipt of money from a foreign source, end of quote. I don't care what his lawyer says. There is no such document saying that he requested uh, permission to get money, to, to get the money, or a document saying that he received it. It also says this, and I quote, DIA did not locate any records of Lieutenant General Flynn seeking permission or approval for the receipt of money from a foreign source, end of quote. General Flynn's attorneys uh, says he discussed his trip to Moscow with DIA, but we have no evidence, not a shred, that he disclosed his payments, his payments, which is what the Emoluments Clause is all about, from RT, the Kremlin-backed propaganda outlet. And we have no evidence, zilch, that he obtained permission from the Secretary of the Army and the Secretary of State to accept any foreign government payments as required by law. Third and finally, today I'm releasing a letter that we received from the Inspector General of the Department of Defense announcing that they too are now launching their own investigation of General Flynn. I do not want to take up too much time so let me conclude with this. Earlier this week, the White House refused, absolutely refused, to produce even a single document, not a single document, in response to the bipartisan document requests that I sent with our Republican chairman. Not one syllable. I watched Sean Spicer make all kinds of excuses and, about how hard it would be to comply with our requests. Come on, man. Look, General Flynn served in his position for 24 days. So that excuse from the White House will not fly. I honestly do not understand why the White House is covering up for Michael Flynn. I don't get it. 
after the president fired him for lying. So the president fired him for lying about the communications with the Russian ambassador. They should be bending over backwards to help us. It does not make any sense, and it makes the American people think the White House has something to hide. There's obviously a paper trail, ladies and gentlemen. There is a paper trail that the White House does not want our committee to follow. But let it be known that we will follow it. We will follow it with everything we've got.